Good morning. Small Biz David here and welcome to Dreaming with Entrepreneurs in Google Google Plus. Uh, this is our daily video blog, if you will. I, because of how I like to do things, uh, would rather do a video on as an HOA which will get the search engine value from Google doing it as an HOA then becomes a YouTube video which I can then repurpose in many different ways uh, to do whatever it is that I, I, I want to accomplish for the day and so this is why we uh, try to have a daily uh, HOA, which is uh, a, a video blog. So what is happening today and what's going to uh, happen tomorrow? Uh, one thing that I'm working on today, I have uh, finalized uh, a script for a YouTube it's going to be a private YouTube that I am doing to present a Google Plus monetizing Hangouts idea uh, to a nationally known brand. And I uh, actually don't want to share the name of that brand uh, because I am in the discussion stages right now. But uh, this morning I finalized the script. This weekend I'm going to do a three, four, five minute YouTube uh, to present this idea to the national brand. And if they have any uh, interest in pursuing the idea, I know they will, just by the nature of uh, the script itself, well, I will then uh, go to the next steps and present the next steps as uh, as they want them to be presented. So uh, that's going to happen uh, this weekend. I'm going to create the YouTube video. I'm very excited about it. Uh, as I uh, looked at the script that I created, I was very, very pleased with it. And I will say and do present uh, some very powerful marketing and sales ideas in a three, four, five minute YouTube video. It's going to be private so that only the um, prospective client will be able to view it, but uh, I will probably make it public after that. Okay, tomorrow at uh, 10 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time, I will be conducting a Dreaming with Entrepreneurs in Google Plus community meeting. Uh, Saturday mornings are a good uh, time to uh, do this. It takes it out of the weekly, daily, I should say, Monday through Friday types of uh, HOAs that uh, capture people's attention. So we will do this on uh, tomorrow morning. It's not the first time I've done this and um, any community member of Dreaming with Entrepreneurs in Google Plus who uh, want to be on the panel uh, to present whatever it is that they are doing or to uh, question me on uh, something that is happening in their business that they need some outside advice and guidance or just generally speaking uh, if they want to ask some questions about certain ideas and concepts and programs uh, that I am announcing uh, in our community. Uh, by the way I'm going to do something this afternoon that I have never really done before and we'll see how it works out. Uh, a very well-known company, I'm not going to mention their name right now, uh, has personally uh, approached me 
to endorse a product that they sell. So my steps in endorsing that product will be uh, number one, just seeing a demonstration of the product, see if it is something that I can use in my small business. And if I can use it, we will and share the results of that. But I won't endorse anything until I've had a chance to study it, use it, evaluate it, challenge it, and then possibly endorse it. So it's the first time I'm going to do something like this. And uh, these folks approached me. And as I said, it's a, a name very, very uh, recognized uh, in the industry. Uh, well, in, in, in business in general, most of us have done business with the company. And uh, we'll see where, uh, where we go with those discussions. Uh, I do see that... Um, Okay, some folks have entered, but um, have said nothing. So that's uh, that's going to happen this afternoon at uh, four o'clock, and I will share uh, that conversation, that interaction in tomorrow morning's uh, community meeting. Uh, some members of the community will also be sharing tomorrow some of the things going on uh, in their communities, their own uh, individual communities. And uh, that discussion, as I said, will happen tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. I uh, wanted to take a look at some of the things that I'm reading and uh, some of the ideas uh, based upon what I read I'll, I'll, I'll share with you or not share with you. And I'm reading from my inbox. Can you believe that there's actually a website with the domain name cars.com? Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have to read that and see what they have to say. I don't know that it'll necessarily be appropriate to uh, members of the community, but uh, for sure, I will have to look at it. Cars.com targets dealerships with a business-to-business -business campaign. Uh, another thing I want to take a look at, I'll be reading this weekend, small business owners share views on the Affordable Care Act. Oh, my goodness. Uh, the F Affordable Care Act in and of itself probably will do more to change the way that small businesses do business, particularly those who have employees, particularly those who have more than 50 employees, because if a small business has more than 50 employees, they are subject uh, to some very stringent guidelines in the uh, care, uh, health care that they provide for their employees. So I'll take a look at that article and see if there's anything uh, that I think of, of, of interest. Uh, from uh, an entity called Business News Daily. Uh, the uh, folks uh, have uh, several article, blog type articles, and uh, one I will absolutely take a look at and share with you soon. Five traits of successful entrepreneurs. Might have been something I've shared with you already because I, I, I have used that topic uh, or, or shared information on that topic before. Uh, another interesting headline here, the 10 most resilient cities uh, in the world. Uh, we'll see how they define resilient in terms of the article itself and share with you the names of those cities. From Kaiser Health News, Medicare and Aging News from Kaiser Health News. Uh, I have a particular personal interest uh, in that topic because it was a week ago yesterday, actually, that I qualified for Medicare. Uh, I uh, 
celebrated my 65th birthday last week, and in the month that you celebrate your birthday, uh, when you are 65, you automatically qualify for Medicare. Some people may kind of write this off as, oh, well, it's no big deal. Uh, but for me, it was an extremely important milestone uh, in my life because I have been without good health care insurance for over 15 years now. 20 years ago, uh, I had some major surgery done. And 20 years ago, I had I had good health care insurance. As a matter of fact, I had two major things done to my heart. Uh, 40 year, uh, uh, 20 years ago, it'll be 20 years ago this December. Uh, a an aneurysm was repaired and a new uh, heart valve was put in. And because of that, from that point on, uh, I have not had very good health care because I could not personally afford good health care. Uh, I was quoted monthly premiums of $1,500 uh, to provide adequate health care. So that was definitely out of the question. But I did what I had to do to, to, to exist and to go on. And <clears throat> so we'll, uh, I'm, I'm going to read that and see what they actually say about Medicare because I have some choices. Some things are just presented to me, um, and I will take advantage of those, obviously. Uh, and then I have uh, two choices that I need to make, but I have six months from now to make those choices. So I am uh, on uh, a path of getting the best information that I possibly can. Also, let me take a quick look here to see if there's any questions in our stream. Nothing, no questions in our stream. Okay. Oh, I should mention too, when I had my health care, uh, when I had insurance 20 years ago, when I when I had my first two heart surgeries, it was amazing my health care insurance was so good at that time of my life that those two major heart surgeries, and I was in the hospital uh, for six days, five pages of medications that they gave me while I was there, my total bill 20 years ago for two major surgeries and everything that, that went along with it, was twenty five dollars, and and that also included a a private room in the hospital. Twenty five dollars twenty years ago. Uh, today, uh, if I had that same thing, and I've actually had worse than that, but I, if I had that same surgery today with the insurance that I've had up until a week ago, uh, my out of pocket expense probably would have been in the neighborhood of $25,000 minimum, minimum. Uh, so it's, uh, it, it's something that um, I hope all anybody listening to this has proper coverage, uh, and I am so grateful and blessed now <laughs> to have proper coverage after all these years. How to make the most of peer-to-peer -peer business groups. I will read that because uh, that is precisely what we need to think about in our Dreaming with Entrepreneurs in Google Plus community. How do we get the most value out of relating to one another in our collaboration efforts? And there are definitely some collaboration uh, projects uh, that I am working on that anybody who is a member of the community uh, can take advantage of and most significant and you've heard me talk about it several times this week uh, is monetizing Google Plus Hangouts on air. Uh, I am 
actively working on two separate initiatives right now about monetizing Hangouts. One is a little different approach because uh, I will hopefully be pr producing Hangouts for a client and uh, it's a little different approach because members of the community may or may not be able to take advantage of my efforts in producing these Hangouts for somebody else. However, the second initiative that I'm working on very directly can impact any producer of an HOA because I will be taking a, a well-defined uh, plan objective to a vertical industry or an, an industry vertical and anybody who produces an HOA will be able to take advantage of potentially monetizing their HOA uh, because of the project that I have uh, put together and uh, am executing so you want to stay in tune for that. Wow. Uh, here's one I missed first time out. You're missing pieces for non-apparel and insurance campaigns. I will definitely have to take a look at that. A question that Fast Company proposed should you quit your job to start your own business? A, a discussion that I am actually having with uh, several friends right now or, and members of the community. Not so much should they quit their job and start a business, but should they uh, stop doing what they're doing in their business and take a job? So I, I'm in, I'm in act, active discussion right now with top of mind three different folks in the community on what I think might be the best route for them to take. And it's a process. I have to ask certain questions. I have to know what uh, is happening uh, in their home uh, so that I can make the best recommendations that I possibly can. And... Uh, uh, I can make good recommendations because operating uh, a business out of my home as I have for the last 40 years, 40 plus years, I can share a lot of different experiences that I have had. Now that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be the same for you. I can only share and relate to what is important to me or what has happened to me and how I made certain decisions that I made. I can only share what's what's happened to me. And if you can find yourself in the same set of circumstances that drove you to make a certain decision, then it can be a, a meaning to you. And there was a couple other ones here that caught my attention. Uh, a checklist for your next product launch. I think I'll share that checklist with you. Seven Essentials to a B2B Content Marketing Strategy. Uh, I definitely will share that information with you because I'm a, a firm believer that content marketing is really the route that any business sh should take regardless of their size. And really, the smaller the business, the more impactful and important uh, that particular concept is. Because, uh, well, I'm, I'm a solopreneur, so to speak. I operate by myself, for myself, uh, no other people in my company, just me. It's pretty much the way that I've operated for uh, my entire life, uh, except for one year, I actually had a payroll, a staff of 15 people, we did a wonderful job in the company, achieved our business goals and objectives, but I did not like the experience. 
of having to uh, be responsible for uh, the lives, if you will, uh, of 15 other people. There were enough challenges with my own life uh, that uh, it was very challenging for me to be concerned and have to worry about 15 other people who I had on the payroll. So I made the decision back, uh, and it was uh, 1979, uh, I made the decision that whatever I did for the rest of my life, I was going to do by myself. I was not going to have a staff of people. So subsequently, that uh, created a certain set of circumstances uh, for me, and it had limitations for me, but they were things that I was willing to deal with. And uh, it's worked for me. That particular model has worked for me extremely well and is still working for me. Uh, when there is a task to do in my business, I cannot perform that task for whatever the reason. I don't have time to perform it or I don't make the time to perform it. Somebody can do it more efficiently than I can. Then I will outsource that particular function. Uh, to the right person, to the right individual. Uh, unfortunately, um, I've made some pretty bad mistakes in my life <laughs> outsourcing to the wrong people, thinking that I had the right people, but after working with them, finding out that I did not have the right people. So uh, I definitely need to do a better job on that in my own business. And then one final article, which brands are the most trusted and least trusted? I think the reason I want to take a look at that is because we are all about, in our community, you understanding exactly what your brand is and how do you best communicate the message of your brand to the marketplace. You have to make the decisions on what your brand is and how do you portray your brand. But there's a, a lot of considerations uh, that need to be factored into the equation. And we certainly can help you do that. As I shared with um, uh, this major brand that I uh, am uh, presenting to about monetizing HOAs, uh, I shared with them that in the last two and a half years, I've done a very, very good job personally in building, developing, and communicating the brands of myself, which are Small Biz David. I consider that a separate entity, a brand. Uh, and if you Google Small Biz David, you need to put in quotation marks uh, because of uh, my not understanding why. Google search engines have made the certain decisions that they have. I have to take a look at that, and I haven't done it for a long time, but uh, it, it happened, I think probably the last time I looked at it was a year ago. And if you would Google, if you would Google just simply small biz David, no spaces, because that's how I have presented it. Uh, the search engines would read it small biz space David for some reason that nobody has been able to explain to me. Uh, so if there's anybody out there that can explain that to me, please do. I presented it to many, many folks in the last couple of years, but nobody has given me a good answer on that. As soon as I figured, well, and I knew that because uh, uh, I promoted it, that name, I marketed that name, and uh, I, uh, I, I, I marketed that name and um, somebody else was getting credit uh, on the first page. It wasn't necessarily me. Uh, there was another individual who, knew, who followed what I was doing and was going to take advantage of what I was doing and in fact was able to uh, in the search results because when the engines read it as small biz space David, 
uh, there were two, three, four, sometimes five other entities on top of me, with me marketing and promoting the name Small but David. So I never understood that. But over as soon as I put uh, into quotation marks Small Biz David, then those results belong to me exclusively thousands of results for all the stuff that I've, I've been putting out there and um, I also promote have been promoting the brand David F Leopold which is my name and I've been doing that with HOAs uh, for the last year and a half and it has worked very well so I actually have two separate YouTube channels uh, there's a total of seven over 700 YouTubes in those two channels and if you would search for Small Biz David or David F. Leopold on YouTube uh, you will find um, thousands of results that represent 700 plus YouTube videos okay the last thing I wanted to share and then I've got to go uh, check out some HOAs other folks HOAs myself uh, and this will be a good segue because I'm going to share with you um, events that are happening this afternoon some one is happening right now my friend Mia Voss has a um, a weekly uh, HOA going on right now she calls it her power chat and as soon as I close here I will be going over to view it that one's off the top of my head and also at 2 o'clock today two hours from now I'm sorry at 1 o'clock today uh, one hour from now uh, my very good friend uh, chef Dennis Litley is has a weekly HOA so it's a it's a wonderful one he just invites people with different backgrounds different business models to just come and talk in, in a very casual uh, environment atmosphere just kind of share what's going on uh, and some really good solid business relationships have evolved from uh, taking that that approach and the chef does a great job with that Okay, let's see if I have missed any events this afternoon. Uh, one thing I'm going to do on behalf of the community this afternoon at 4 o'clock, four hours from now, uh, that I have never done before, so I don't know how it's going to work. Uh, there is a very well known company uh, that has approached me personally to endorse their product that they have for sale and uh, so I'm going to pursue a discussion with them to see what their expectations are of me how good their product is is it something that I would use in my business is it something that I would recommend for you to use in your business uh, I won't share my thoughts until I've had an opportunity to uh, use that service that they are uh, providing so they are going to provide me and they're going to I'm going to have a, um, a demonstration of that product uh, this afternoon at four o'clock about well, four hours from now and uh, I will then share my findings in the community uh, and maybe in the marketplace in general based upon uh, what I have uh, found okay there is a private workshop that we don't need to talk about but it's something that I would maybe have attended it's kind of interesting to me but it's happening right now Mia power chat Mia connect uh, power chat is happening right now and I guarantee you there are a lot of folks engaging at um, 12:30 today in a half hour or 15 minutes, 
Uh, interesting um, uh, discussion is going to be had. It looks like a lot. It looks like a thousand people have said that they're going to go to it. Uh, disruptions presents Virgin disruption disruptors. I'm sorry, disruptors present. Have entrepreneurs lost the will to innovate? Uh, Virgin, as you probably know, is a brand uh, developed by Richard Branson. Branson, uh, one of the most outstanding entrepreneurs of all time, and uh, he's having this HOA. But as I learned earlier today, he didn't. Whoever set it up for him didn't set it up right. So we'll have to see what happens. I uh, talked about Chef Dennis Litley at uh, 1 o'clock. Good day, Google Plus, Life in Pursuit of Happiness. He has four guests on with him today. Uh, at 1 o'clock today in 45 minutes. Um, who's sponsoring that? Oh, Ronnie Benser uh, is sponsoring a... Uh, Ronnie, a friend of mine, is uh, sponsoring what looks to be a very high-powered uh, HOA called Social Roles People Play in an HOA. Uh, he has on his panel, among others, uh, David Amerlin, Martin Shervington, uh, and Mr. Vogelman. So that will be a very uh, interesting one, the Social Roles People Play in an HOA. That's at uh, 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time today. Uh, another one at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time today is uh, by a gentleman, uh, produced by a gentleman whose name is David Oldenburg. Uh, and uh, David is presenting an HOA, Real Estate Pinterest Power. Uh, David's uh, business is real estate. Uh, and apparently, he is going to share how to use Pinterest uh, in the real estate industry. And those are the ones for the balance of today. And as I said, tomorrow at 10 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time, I will be hosting a Dreaming with Entrepreneurs in Google Plus community meeting. I just put the notice out there. Oh, about an hour ago. Let's see how many folks have said they're going to come to it tomorrow. Actually, six people have said uh, they're going to be there tomorrow. So we'll see uh, how many of them actually show up and how many more will. So, uh, Please uh, let me know what you thought about uh, the information that I presented today, what works for you, what doesn't work for you. If you have questions about anything that I shared today, please let me know. Uh, my name is Small Biz David, uh, and I'll see you the next time, which may very well be the best time. We'll see you then.